Welcome to the channel, my pack cracking family. Clever Magic Trevor here. Oh, thanks for the mic. Clever Magic Trevor here on the Clever Magic Community YouTube channel. Thanks for popping in. Yeah, buddy. Um, we're doing it slightly different now because, uh, well, you know what? I got a new camera and uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna do less editing and uh, more just filming. So I'm gonna use my trusty uh, sidekick, the computer, to. Uh, you know, kind of make this a little bit easier. So when we go to opening, um, we are, uh, I'm not going to do the breakdown of what, who's, who's uh, wrestling with who. I mean, who's battling who or wrestling. You guys might be wrestling in the background. I'm not sure, but we're going to get into it and uh, let's get to opening. We have uh, Theros Beyond Death for our standard league. And uh, I love this set. Uh, I was very, very skeptical of the set for a long time. Um, but there's a decent amount of uh, uncommons that are pretty incredible. And uh, so some of the gods are just, I mean, they're going to be timeless. They're going to be timeless um, as far as uh, Commander goes and, and other formats too. So uh, I think it'll be great. Uh, as far as our chase card, we're going for Hydra's Growth. I actually wanted something different. I can't remember what I wanted, but... Uh, uh, Dave and uh, Josh, they said Hydra's go growth, CMT. Hydra's growth. I was like, okay, okay, okay. So let's uh, let's get into it. Here we go. Here we go, man. Click of a button and we're there. So uh, three packs a piece. Three packs a piece because that's what we do. That's what we do here on uh, the CMC channel in the league. And uh, we battles. We battles. So I'm going to try something a little bit different. You know, Dave's like, I don't shuffle. And I said, well, you know what? In his last video, he's like, I don't shuffle. Uh, and I don't blame him. You know, it kind of is what it is. Oop, uh, I just bumped cameras. So <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. I do bump cameras, but it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Um, what we are going to do is just a little bit of just kind of, you know, mix in here, there, over here. It's that kind of day like that, you know. And, uh, you know, we got to be relatively close, right? I don't know. Something like that. Something like that. That's what we're doing. Camera looking good. Camera's looking good. Camera is looking good. We'll put these a little bit further off to the side. I pulled the zoom out a little bit. Fantastic. And we're going. We're getting into it. We got Derek W. and Alex W. It's the Battle of the W's. Three packs apiece. And uh, let's get into it. Okay. I zoomed back out. So hopefully uh, the zooming uh, is on point here. And uh, it should be. It should be. Why is this like this? I messed with the camera a little bit. Maybe I shouldn't have. Why is this like this? It was perfect. Minor adjustments on the fly. Minor adjustments. We need to focus a little bit better. Just a little bit better. Uh-huh. How you guys liking this? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Did that help? It did not. It did not help. How did I have this before? Okay, so that's not bad. It's a little bit better. I'll have to mess with it a little bit. I sh I should have tested this out a little bit better. Okay, 
We got Derek W, right? Okay, Derek W. We're going through the uh, commons don't matter. There's actually some really good commons in this, too. It's un uh, not unfortunate. What is with this? This is driving me freaking bonkers. I got to... I gotta keep messing with this. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. You guys are gonna hate hate me for this, but I gotta do it. Ah, that'd be good for now. And then uh, next video, we'll make some adjustments. Okay. So, you got Gary. Underworld Dreams, fantastic card. Oh, gosh, dude. Derek W. Swinging with Annihilia. And swinging with a Scophos Maze Warden. Foily. Foily. And you get the big lands. You get the big. Actually, let's keep it over here until I push it over to your name. Easier to manage that way. On the ground. That's right. On the ground. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Tactics. Dream Stalker. Eutropia. And a Rasta. She's actually a pretty good card. It just was, I think, printed more than every other card. Right, right. What are we going for this? We're still going we're still going for the Titans, right? Still going for the Titans. And of course. And of course, our uh, chase card, which is a Hydra's Growth. Oh, it's, I saw green, and I just I wasn't thinking clearly. Rare Bronze Hide Lion. Ooh, and a foil Daxos. Also printed a lot, but played quite a bit. Daxos is played quite a bit. Derek W. Right there, folks. Derek W. Good job, dude. Okay, now we have Alex W. Battle of the W's. Remember that. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Man, I don't even remember this card. Cling to dust. Everybody remembers that card. Does that help like that or does it help closer up? It actually helps closer up. Interesting. Interesting. So we'll have to, I'll have to play with that. Rise to glory. Dalakos. And a foily plains. Uh, Dalakos isn't bad. I've never made in the history of my magic career. I mean, I've, made, I've played a few of them in my decks, but I've never made a, a mermaid deck. Merman! Merman! Citizen Petitioner. Okay, we're alright with that. We're alright. Favorite of Iroas. Destiny Spinner. That's a great card. And a rare! Tamarit, Call of the Dead. Call the Dead. Okay, last pack. This one's kind of tough. This one's kind of tough because uh, Derek didn't get the greatest uh, rares, but he pulled Nylia. And I don't know what Nylia brings to the table quite yet. Meyer Triton, that's a great uncommon. Might be worth, uh, might be worth over a quarter, who knows, or close. Commanding Presence. Come on, don't give this stuff away. Underworld Fires. And a rare. Gallia of the Endless Dance. That that girl, God, I'm not quite sure if it's a girl or a guy, um, to be quite honest. Uh, it's just a party person. We'll just call it a party person. Oh. And we got two versus eight. Two versus eight. If you can't tell, it's uh, basically just counting down. So we got Paz B versus Chewy. And Chewy had a decent uh, decent week last week. So uh, actually in both leagues, but I think he lost the Masters. Um, but I think he uh, knocked the home run on uh, the standard. So Okay, Wolf Willow Haven. That's got to be over a quarter. This is a very popular card. Dream Shaper Shaman, The Birth of Melodus, and Archon of Sun's Grace. And a rare Eat to Extinction. Man, I wish our rare was slightly better than that. 
It's actually not a bad card, and it seems to be getting more play as we go. Let's move this over here. There we go. Okay. Paz B, number two. Number two. The way I have this set up, um, the camera's actually somewhat in my view. It's it's bulkier than where my uh, my phone sat, so I'll just have to do some uh, do it a little bit different. I love Chainweb, Arknir, Siona, and a rare Nylia's intervention. Okay, pause. We got it. We got to get this going. Got to get this going. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Got another petitioner. We got a Utopia? A Sage of Mysteries? And here we go. Here we go. Pause it. Ox of Agonis. And the Ox, I mean, uh, in the right deck, that Ox is stout. Give you the ability to well for one it's got escape so it's already you know hating on some of the uh graveyard which is actually in this meta is really nice um but in addition you get a new new three cards right brand new three cards band brawler glimpse of freedom clots is design and enigmatic incarnation not the best, but not bad. Not bad. Uh, that's a, a shenanigan card, in my opinion. Just I, I feel like um, if if you're just going for like a combo style deck, uh, it's a pretty good card. If not, then it's not going to be the the best. So the phone keeps it's on uh, vibrate, but it keeps just going off. And a rare, Ephemia. Okay, so no Hydra's Growth yet. I think Dave, what? Dave, like, Dave didn't pull a... I think, I think that it was last week. Dave didn't pull a bonus point, right? And we are really close with everybody's point total. So we have got to pull some... Uh, some bonus cards. Separate some people. Sage of Mysteries and Kunoros. I feel bad for Kunoros. I felt like that card going into the set release was hyped quite a bit and then just didn't deliver and i don't know i don't know what you can do differently with that card honestly doesn't seem bad just doesn't seem great so three more cards and we go to three and nine nikki l and redbeard himself c scott s See Scott run. Okay. Fury rate. That was a good comment, huh? Farika's spawn. Prophecy. Horn, another horn beetle. And a Nessian boar. A Nessian boar is pretty fun. You've got to kind of protect him when it, when he's uh, when he hits there, because you know he'll draw everybody's attention. That's what he does. That's what he does. We got a brawler. Ah, that's a. This is actually a great card. Here we go. Oh, you can't see that yet. Mythos, mythic, and it's a four or five. Mm-hmm. We know Clothis. God of Destiny. That Clothis is seeing a decent amount of play in standard. It's actually a, a really a functional, kind of a jack of all trades card, really. Alcide, this has got to be over a quarter, right? Right? Mirror Shield, oh, I love this card. And a rare Idyllic Tutor. Everybody loves tutors, right? Everybody likes to go search in, whether it's an enchantment, artifact, whatever. Just, I mean, go search. Go search. Okay. So we got Redbeard. So, Nikki, that was actually uh, pretty decent. I'd say you're winning as of right now. 
Granted, he hasn't opened anything, so Archon of Falling Stars. It's a decent card. Underworld Dreams, I do love that card. And a rare Temple. Oh, and a foil uh, Courser. Uh, you know, the Temples are one of the few rare lands that just are left to be desired. I just... I can't get on board with the scry, especially with, you know, the milling and stuff like that. Because then, you know, it's, it's, it actually turns out to be a, a pointless rare at that point. Uh, Banishing Light, this is a great uncommon. Probably over a quarter, right? The Binding of the Titans. And a Temple of Malice. Because, of course, if you're going to pull one Temple, Redbeard, you're going to want a second. In a co completely different color scheme. Cracking. Just a cool art. Cool art. Blood of Spirit. Not too shabby. A Wanderer. And a rare. Heliod's Intervention. I've been seeing this card a decent amount lately, too. Um, it's interesting when uh, new sets come out how uh, it can revitalize some of the uh, other cards that weren't played as much in Standard and stuff. And I'm primarily talking about arena there's not a whole lot of people doing stand art my lgs doesn't even have standard uh knights anymore i mean you got commander and uh that's about it they, have, they were having pioneer but then people stopped showing up for the pioneer we went through you know the issue the, the pandemic and stuff so there's a lot of things that aren't back to normal quite yet but uh oh yeah we got nick w and harry f and nick w needs a win he needs a win Need some love, okay? Let's give him some love. Derek just took his brother to the cleaners last week. A Chimera. A Celebrant. And a rare Hippo Camp. That's not going to do it. That's not going to do it. Nick, we got to do better for you. Come on, buddy. I'm pulling for you on this one. Okay. Sweet Oblivion, which is a sweet looking card, but not the value we're looking for. Inevitable End, and a rare Temple of Plenty. Oh, and we got did get a foil Brine Giant, which, I mean, Giants are a thing, right? Mm. Not with him, though. Not with him. Okay, Fateful End. Are we going to get a Hydra's Growth? Are we going to get... We're going to get a Hateful Eidolon. And a rare Temple of Deceit. Oh, Renata. Foil Renata. Um, okay, so this is obviously a Temple uh, box, which is somewhat unfortunate. I get pretty excited when it's like a Trion box and stuff with... You know, I love lands. Temples just aren't my thing. So, anytime you're doing, like, blinking and stuff, my gosh, this card is awesome. That card has saved me so much in, like, uh, on Arena, on Brawl, uh, with my uh, Thassa deck. Well, I don't know why that took me a second to think about it. This feels like a foil in here. Soul Guide Lantern. And a Citizen Champion, which is a great card. And a common Mogus. Mogus, Soul Reaper. All right, we got it. We have got to pull some better cards. We're pulling all the temples and just, I mean, there's a lot of great cards in here. We, yeah, there's a lot of great rares. Where are they? Mystic Repeal, that's a decent card right there. Tactics. A Celebrant. And the first Iroan Games. Man, we were getting stomped on this box. I should have Dave open Theros in the future. Theros is one is one of those sets where you are gonna probably get uh, the boxes, the estimated value just can be all over the place in these boxes, and they you can get a val a super valuable box, and then some of them are just terrible. Uh Terranika. Hmm. I have no idea who won this one. 
Uh, I am drawing a blank on some of the cards that we drew, um, but uh, there's nothing that really stands out memory-wise for me. Memory-wise for me. Okay. Three and three, and I did do divide those stacks up pretty darn good. Maybe I should put the focus on auto. I just, I didn't like it on auto, but um, like this is not as clear, but when you get up, it's super clear. See, like look at all the dirt in my fingernails. Look, I cut my fingernails quite frequently. They just grow really quickly. I'll put that in auto. That's what I'll, that's what I'll do. Auto focus. Let's try that out. While we got you on the horn, configure video. Let's put focus on auto apply okay okay now how we doing how we doing okay uh we got emma g going right now in john r okay this is emma g's see this is why i don't like the auto focus because it starts out not focused okay so we're going with the demigods on this one. Ooh, Mythic, Emma, what are you doing? Heliod, what a fantastic, fantastic Mythic. We're doing, we're doing things. Okay, feels like no foil in this one. Okay, autofocus. Whirlwind Denial. Warden of the Chained. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ashiok. It feels like the Nightmare Muse is actually coming back. I have a feeling that card's going to uh, spike a little bit more. It's kind of a mid-tier uh, Planeswalker, but it can really take over a game. Like, it can get nasty. Agonizing Remorse. That's a great uncommon. Even though I'm not much for hand hate, but you know, that's probably because I don't play much black. Cling the dust and uh, thaumaturge. Okay, so you did get the Heliod, Emma. So far, you're winning, in my opinion. John R hasn't gone yet, though. Let's do this, John R. You got a Titan in you? You got a Titan in you? Do you have a Hydra's Growth? you you have a hydra's growth no no not on this pack but you did get a mythic elspeth uh see and this is like a lower tier uh in my opinion planes uh, like it could elspeth can be a decent accessory it's not going to be you know what what you probably build your deck around denial boom john r plus one Let's see if he actually pulls off the win, though. A Triumph of Annex and a Temple. Temple of Being Abandoned, which is a gorgeous-looking card. Gorgeous-looking. It just, uh, the value, I just, uh, you know, the Temple. You know, the, I guess I shouldn't even say value. I should say the playability. It's, it's just not there, in my opinion. Let's see if he can pull off a second Hydra's Growth. Calafee, Warden of the Chain. And a rare tectonic giant, which is, you know, does see some play. Oh, we got a second rare. Here we go. Is it an okay one? Storm Herald. Eh, you know, they give you two rares. They don't want you to get your head just, you know, they, they want to keep you down to earth, humbled, uh, fun, you know, uh, all that jazz. Okay, last two contestants for the standard league, number six and number 12. We got the leader in Re Team Rebecca, and we got JM, who, you know, he can pull some cards. JM, you never know what you're going to get with him. Team Rebecca is leading right now. Uh, we're starting off with JM. So let's see what we can do. I don't root for anybody because doesn't matter it, it is who it is you know sometimes you want the leader to be uh knocked off but honestly only time i root against uh team rebecca is every now and then when i'm rooting for josh when i feel like josh needs a win and an a deer kraken 
we are going to have to mess with this camera. I do not like autofocus. I got to go back, guys. I got to go back, configure the video, take the autofocus off. We'll apply that. Okay. Apply. Okay. Get up out of here. Back to JM and his wonderful packs of love. Ooh, I think I showed a little bit too much on that one. That's what she said. Storyteller, commanding presence, underworld fires, and ah, Perforos's intervention. Not the intervention we were looking for. Good looking Moss Viper. It's really sweet. Uh, Moss Viper does see some play. You know, all the death touchers. They do love the Moss Viper. Okay, here's a nightmare of a card. Slaughter Priest of Mogus. A thundering Chariot. We got a vehicle and a rare Hactos. Oh, and we got a Reverend Hoplite. Uh, Hactos is uh, fairly decent. So, fairly decent. Team Rebecca. What are you going to do for us? I don't feel like we pulled very many mythics. How many mythics have we pulled? Two, three? I don't even feel like our rares are that that great in this box. Maybe I should redo this one. Maybe this box got dragged to the underworld. We need to escape Velocity and Adaxos with Shatter this guy. That's a great, that's a, you know, I don't know if the value is there, but that's a great, great there, great there. It should be worth about the same price as Doomscar, in my opinion. And Doomscar, you know, can be a little bit better, you know, being able to only play it for three and then, you know, not giving a draw. Ooh, Field of Ruin. And Thassa's Intervention. I thought if maybe I slow played it, it might be something fantastic. Wings of Hubris. Hubris. Last pack. Man, we need a mythic. I think we only pulled three. I could be wrong. I think we only pulled three. So this one's, if it's not a mythic, uh, I'm going to Wizards. I'm going to I'm gonna get my money back. Affliction. Freedom. Man, this camera's working so much better right now. Another Field of Ruin. And, oh, gosh, I love that art. And a rare Nightmare Shepherd. It's a decent rare. Wow, guys. Wow. So, uh, what do you say? Let's just, uh, I mean, as this is playing, you're seeing the results. Uh, I don't know. You know. I don't know who did what. You know, honestly, it's it, it didn't seem like that great of a box, but what are you going to do about it? You know what I mean? And, uh, sometimes you just get temple boxes and temple boxes the value is just not there so uh hopefully next week which uh you know will be better it's dave opening so um other than that uh geez uh you know the last fireside we did kind of talk a little bit about stuff it was a great box that dave opened guilds um but uh you know uh, as far as everything goes, shoot, you know, we've had a couple of decent boxes uh, the first two weeks. I'd say this was definitely the one that uh, kind of let us down. Um, and there's Theros is hit or miss, you know. Are you, are you going to hit the rares that are like, you know, uh, what is it? Is it the Nyx Lotus that's in there? Yeah, of course it is, Nyx. As soon as you say Nyx, you got to know it's Theros. Um, but like the Nyx Lotus, uh, the uh, Dryad, you know, there's a number of them that are just great uh, rares and whatnot. We didn't seem to hit any of them, so we hit a lot of temples. But uh, I do appreciate everybody. Uh, hopefully, I think we only hit one Hydra's Growth, right? I'll have to look through that again. Um, but... Uh, we appreciate everybody and uh make sure you're subscribed like the video comment lay down a comment just in case on fireside this is the video that uh ends up being the giveaway video and uh you know what to do we will catch you on the next video